Welcome back to your 2016 edition of Film Room. I am joined by former Alabama quarterback John Parker Wilson and Alabama entering week one against USC. Both teams with inexperienced quarterbacks. So my question for you is having great receivers coming back on the offensive side of the football. How important is that for these guys that lack the experience at that position? Yeah, so huge week. We're starting back college football. And I think for both teams, they're in the same uh, situation with new guys at quarterback and experience all around them. So I think it's huge coming in as a as a new quarterback with not a ton of experience. You rely on those guys that have been there, have been in the big situations, the big games, to kind of bail you out at times. And especially when you're getting in there, running out the first play in the huddle, you can look around and you know those guys are going to have your back. So as a starter, freshman, or, or whoever it is, young guy with not a lot of experience, you rely on those older guys um, to get you through the tough times, especially those first few drives when everything is just going so fast. And one of the first plays we'll look at today is highlighting one of those elite receivers, Adore Jackson. Yeah, so Adore Jackson right here, fourth and four. Um, we're in the other team's territory, and we're going to drive back. The quarterback's going to drive back and throw a, a quick pass to him. This shows me a couple of things. First off, they've got confidence in throwing him the ball in a big situation in fourth down. But also, looking at their offensive line, they gave up a lot of sacks last year. Um, and this is a way to combat that. When you've got not as good protection up front, you look to get, the, get rid of the ball quick. And the big thing that pops off to me is, just the physicality. So it's fourth down like we talked about, but being able to bounce off the cornerback and really getting up field, getting down, getting down the field, making those big explosive plays that we always talk about. But this is something that the defense is looking at on the tape, I can assure you. They're talking about it in the secondary room is, hey, look out for these guys. They're not just gonna fall for the first down. They're gonna try to get extra yards after the play. So another thing we know that we're gonna see from Alabama is a strong defensive line play, and that means you're gonna to have to get, the, get rid of the ball quick if you're the quarterback. We'll see Ronald Jones, the running back here, do just that. Quarterback's looking downfield. Um, secondary is going to be strong, and this is a way a quarterback's got to beat Alabama is throwing it and distributing the ball where the defense is not. See the running back right here, Ronald Jones, catch it, get it filled, have a good crackback block. But I think it's just the ability of the of the quarterback to know that when the play is not open downfield, that he's got firepower on the outside running backs to check it down. A lot of times you're just trying to get two or three yards. Here we see 10, 15 yards downfield, and those big plays are what's going to make the difference, especially in an early, early game like this uh, in Dallas Stadium. Now, John Parker, this next play is something that Alabama fans have seen a lot of and something Lane Kiffin has brought with him over to USC. Yeah, so this is a quick screen. We've seen it a ton over the past two years with Coach, uh, Coach Kiffin, and basically this is just an extension of the running game. So this is, is geared to take the defensive line out of the game. We're going to throw it quick, get it out, let our big receivers that we know USC have block, and start the playoff first and ten, and now it's second and four. That's huge for offense, trying to stay ahead of the sticks, move the ball, and, and really taking what is one of the strengths of Alabama, the defensive line, try to take them out of the game. Now, Alabama secondary had a strong season last year, but Clemson picking them apart in the national championship game. Coming out in the season opener, how important will it be for these guys to get challenged early on and hopefully fix some of the mistakes they made in that national championship game? So I think it's a huge opportunity for the Alabama secondary. We know how good the front seven of Alabama have been the past few years and especially how good they're going to be this year. So it's a big test for these guys that have been through a lot in the offseason. I think it's a chance for them to come out and start the season on a great note because we know that the teams are going to try to throw against Alabama. They've got to come out, uh, know and understand that USC is going to have a good passing game like they always do and just take it as a challenge. I mean, this is something that's going to move them through the whole season. So I think it'll be something for us to look at is that outside matchup between the USC receivers and the Alabama cornerbacks.